My name's Robert Mims. I've been riding bulls 43 years, loving every minute of it. My neighbor was a bull rider. His name was Cooter Kenny. Cooter would go off to work cattle in the daylight. Me and my brother would sneak across the fence to ride his cattle. He had pinned up in his corral. One day he come home, and me and my brothers we took off running. And I got halfway home, I turned around and went back, it's like facing the demon. What are you boys doing? I said, I want to be a bull rider, sir. He laughed a little bit. He said, you can't ride bulls like that. You gonna show me how? I was a smart little fella. And he said, yeah, I teach it. And the next day I come over early like he told me. He handed me a shovel and a rake. I was only nine years old. I clean stalls, I clean stalls, I shovel shit. It was in his blood. Mm -hmm. So his grandpa used to ride bulls. My daddy rode bulls. He did all right. He was a hard headed little boy. That buckle, that, that buckle's a symbol of a guy that went all year long. He earned that there, I mean, man against beast. Bulls are like, like people, you know. I'm fun to be around, happy-go-lucky. But one day if I wake up and I'm pissed off at the world, hey, I'm pissed off at the world. Basically what you're doing is keeping in motion with the bull. It's 80 to 90% mental. The other 10 to 20% is muscle memory. All bull riders have a different style, you know, whatever fits them. Uh, Robert's style of bull riding is confidence. I get tapped off. Tapped off is mean you get in time with the animal. I get in time with the animal quicker than an average cowboy, what I had used to. <laughs> The average cowboys sit there and wait and wait. While they're sitting and waiting, I'm already feeling it. And I'm jump for jump, and both of my legs come up. When you feel something that's right, it's right. Let me get up there, Shepard. We're ready for you, cowboy. The first time I got in a shoot with a bull, when that gate latch opened up, it was like, it went in a slow motion, but it went in a fast motion. Everything was a blur. And then all of a sudden you're on the ground and you're going, wow, this is cool, I want to do this again. Woo! That <laughs> bull's weights. 11, 12, 1500 pounds would be your smallest bulls. You got these bulls like that Mississippi hippie. And this bull, longer than a standard SUV, fed right and bred right, they, they way outweigh this little car. To land the certain way every time and come back in that same motion over and over again, that's athletic stuff. They all got their own little torque in you. It's not supposed to be a bull that can't be rode, a cowboy that can't be thrown. And the only way you're gonna work that out is to get on his ass two or three times. I mean, you're riding this bull in your dreams before you actually get on him. My worst injury would be my cracked sternum. That's small. If 
compared to a lot of these guys breaking necks, breaking backs. Bull step on my right calf. There's just a hole in my leg. My buddies get a fish hook. They close that hole, stop the leaking. I got a pin and everything in my jaw. Right side of my face being crushed. Uh, femur, bruising. It's part of the game. I don't want people who know him, the legendary bull rider, Robert Mims, I don't want them to look at me like, oh, she made him quit. You know, I don't want that. And he, he laughs at me and jokes and teases, but it's, it's all real, you know, that's what he does. That's, that's his life, to just be relaxed. Enjoy what you have, what God gave you, and stop stressing. Stop being somebody who you're not. I can be myself. This man right here <laughs> helped me love myself for who I am. I don't have to get all frilly and makeup and fancy clothes. It's, this is me. He's got a heart of gold, y'all and it scares me to death. My worst fear is that's how we're gonna lose him, is by a bull. You got uh, different color athletes out here now, riding bulls, running barrels, the whole nine yards. They're starting to give these guys credit for what they're doing instead of the color of their skin. That's been the biggest change I've seen since me going to East Texas and couldn't win nothing but second place. You take like when I moved to Montana, this is in the late 90s, <laughs> I mean, I would have actually have people come up to me and rub against me instead of saying hello. I knew they was rubbing against me to feel my black skin and see if it come off. I just laughed my ass off. Nah, it's, it ain't gonna come off. Wait a minute. Oh, look at the palm of my hands, you know? <laughs> this world's changing. You either change with it or you stay behind. Live your life and treat people like you want to be treated. You always gonna have that not here. I mean, I'm sorry, he's gonna always be there. Sometimes you gotta fight. I was a fighter growing up. I love to fight. But I don't, I'd rather walk away from you today. I can't turn my back on you, but I will walk away. Robert don't take everybody up the road. Oh, it's a blessing that he took me. It took me two whole years to finally figure out why he was hauling me up the road. You know? I got a gift. It's something he see in me that I don't see in myself, you know. Being a bull rider, it's a lot to it. It's just not getting on bulls every day. Or just going to the bars with your straw hat on and your belt buckle. It's more to it. You gotta really wanna do it, you know, because like I say, any any second, any moment, it could be your last bull ride. It could be your last day on this earth. Yeah, riding bulls giving me the opportunity to, to, to see the world. I've, I've got some damn good friends out of this here. I mean, I've met people that I would never meet before speaking a language I still don't understand. But I would call them my friends. Rodeo's been around ever since them two ranching boys figured they could out ride each other on horseback. Boat riding's gonna be around forever. Just gotta get more kids to want to do it. I mean, that's it. They just gotta develop your body and your mind to do what we do. Any Joe Blow could get on, but Joe Blow ain't gonna stay there.